Hey guys, Subsy Kid here with another tutorial on After Effects, and this tutorial is this tutorial is the second episode of the Sync Effects series, which I'm doing. Um, because someone requested how to sync, well, not really sync the blur effect, but how to do a blur effect, um, which I did in the Third Eye Sniper Zone in Contest Entry by Subsy Kid 76 Recruitment Challenge. Yeah, um, yeah, I won again. Yeah, so, uh, as you can see, I use Radio Blur and I synced it up with the music here. So let's quickly see how it looks like from See it consume my thoughts. Are you stupid? Don't crease them, just leave them in that box. Strangle by these laces, laces, I can barely talk. That's my air bubble So you saw it just really it's like a really subtle effect, but it's it seems to add to the whole thing. And it looked quite nice and this dude like like I can't remember his name, uh, Hidden uh Hidden X thirteen thirty seven. Well yeah said that um he wanted to know how to do that so i said shall i make a sync effects thingy mobile and he was like please and i said it might take a week because i'm in spain so but i'm back now and it weather's pretty bad so but let's get into it so after effects do do i made this little project with some stuff synced up so it's nice and good uh not the same song different clip as well I accidentally deleted all my clips, but I managed to find some good ones. But these are pretty old clips, so they're not the best. This is just a quad feed. So, uh, as you can see, if I just get my clip, you can see that I've synced it up there with time remapping. Just watch my sync how to sync shots to music if you want to know how to do that. Um, already made a tutorial on that. So, it's let's quickly see how this looks like. Just quickly ran preview it. So, yeah, it's alright. Let's quickly see this. So, yeah, that that's looking good. Well, sounding good, kind of. Uh, you could add some scale and rotation. Watch my other sync effects tutorial, which was the first episode. But let's get into the blur part of this. So, I'm going to add a new adjustment layer. Because I prefer to uh, add an adjustment layer and put blur and screen flash effects onto adjustment layers and let's quickly rename it to pumps no not pumps blurs like that and if you have black bars like I do here you want to put it underneath the black bars so that the black bars don't get affected with the blur effects because if the adjustment layers on top like the things will get uh, the black bars will get like blurred as well damn it's cold really cold anyway uh, so let's get to the first blur effect I'm gonna be showing you how to do three different blurs so it's Gaussian blur which is just a general blur uh, linear blur where it's like no not linear directional blur which is like directed blur and radial blur so let's start off with Gaussian blur and just type in Gaussian it's an effect which is already in After Effects so no plugins needed or none of these you need plugins for by the way so I don't need to keep on repeating myself and what you want to do is just find the first shot or whatever or maybe the beat and the music because you don't always have to do them to shots you can do them to the beats and the music but in this case I can't be bothered to find the beats and the music and so I'll just do it on the shots so find where the shot is and then on your adjustment layer with the blur on on the blurriness keyframe the blurriness at zero so hit the stopwatch and then click on your adjust uh, your adjustment layer down here in the timeline hit U so it'll bring up the uh, keyframe effects things whatever it is so you can see your keyframes here and it's just easier to go about it and then after you've made that keyframe at zero just go forward five frames so five frames that is and make the blurriness to how much you want it's all personal preference this is so um, I would say well, let's see maybe about 30 35 because what happens is such a fast effect that it happens quite quickly um, so you it won't actually be this blurry for a long time because this effect only lasts for a half second so after you've got how much blur you want so I might just, just turn it down just a little bit and then go forward uh, 30 frames in my case that's half a second because this is at 59.94 59 
frames per second so if I hold down shift and hit page down it goes for 10 frames so I have to do that three times to go for 30 and just make the blurriness zero and then boom it's like he shot blurriness and it just fades out and that looks quite nice I think so and, that, and just something else uh, just to make the whole thing a bit smoother highlight all the keyframes hit F9 or you can right click on them uh, go keyframe assistant and easy ease as you can see there the shortcuts F9 and it just makes it a bit smoother kinda so as you can see it only lasts for half a second and the good thing about this is that you just get the keyframes control C go to the next shot and then control V boom just copied and pasted so it does that same thing so just go there and just like do it again so you don't have to keep on doing it all the time and that's really good and I really like that so you don't always have to keep on doing every like keyframing and also let's quickly see how that little shot looks like right there so it looks quite nice um, but I'm just gonna like I'll just delete those other keyframes because we're gonna use a different blur effect and this one is gonna be radial blur so and you have the normal radial blur from After Effects but then if you have the CC plugins uh, CC effect plugins um, the CC radial blur and for some reason I just prefer CC radial blur I don't know why and I, I just seem to like it more because like you just I don't know but I just do and I like I'm like obsessed with quality so I always pump up the quality to a hundred and so basically just find your next shot which is there for me and then keyframe the amount and then click on the blurs thingy and double hit uh, click U two times so click on the adjustment layer and hit uh, U two times so you can see your keyframes again and then go forward five frames from the shot one two three four five by hitting page down or page up or just use these two buttons here somewhere there and then it's personal preference again how much you want it so you can be like super woo like that or just I would say five yeah five's good uh, maybe even four so yeah that's looking good and then go forward half a second so one two three that's half a second for me and change the amount to zero so it's just like you know or because it's such a fast effect you could even like put the amount to maybe even seven which maybe even I'll put it on ten so it's like rounded up I don't know why I like rounding stuff up for some reason and again you can just hit F9 like select them hit F9 make them easy and again you can control like control C and control V to every other shot you want to put that same effect on so let's quickly see how this looks so yeah it's pretty nice um, but yeah it does look kinda dumb on its own like just a random blur effect synced with the thing like you should add like some scale and rotation so like I said before like watch that one as well and maybe some screen flashes advanced screen flashes just other stuff uh, I'll make tutorials on them in due course so and that's the radial blur done and there's one more oh yeah I forgot about radial blur you have these different types of radial blurs so like here like you, it's on scratch you can change it to like faded zoom or whatever rotated fading rotate but I prefer scratch don't know why it's me so just choose what you want personal preference make it original and so go to your next shot and this time I'm gonna use no not linear I call I always call it like linear but it's directional blur and drag it onto your adjustment layer and then basically just find your next shot and keyframe the blur length and then click on your blurs adjustment layer double hit U to bring up the directional blur keyframes as well and then go forward five frames so one two three four five and then change the blur length to whatever you want so uh, yeah um, 
then you can just change around this direction and shit so I don't know just let's let's do that 318 degrees and let's change it to about 30 me yeah 30 uh, it's all personal preference again just choose what you want um, I'm just doing this quickly for tutorial pur purposes because I don't want this to like carry on too long even though my tutorials do um, because I don't like to skip steps I like to say every single thing so you know what you're doing and you actually learn that way so and then go forward half second so that there and then change the blur length to zero boom so it's like like that yes looking pretty nice Egg, whoops and again you can just select them hit F9 copy and paste them if you want and boom that's pretty nice let's quickly see how that looks together so yeah it's looking good it would be better with all the other stuff like I said before oh yeah and one other blur which I didn't mention mention was I can't remember um, I'll find it if you go effect blur and sharpen it's called uh, let's find it it's called cross blur yeah th this blur it, it looks kind of cool I thought it was like which is like kind of I, I found it like this morning when I was thinking of making this tutorial and I was just like boom it looks pretty nice and then you have these other transfer modes which are yeah you see I'm actually just using this for the first time right now so but yeah it's basically self-explanatory so what you do is put the radius X and Y on zero and then on your adjustment layer thingy key and find your shot and then keyframe the radius X and Y and then go forward five frames and then make them to whatever you want so I don't know let's like make it look like shit cool like wub 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 yeah what's yeah you can repeat edge pixels if you want personal preference again and then go forward half a second so one two three four five and make it make both of them radius x and y zero and then if you just click on blurs and double hit u again you get the uh... you have like six keyframes because you did them for both x and y um, you don't have to do them for both but I like it when it's like both crossed that's why it's called cross blur really uh, and then select them hit F9 you can copy paste them if you want again so it's like phew, that looks pretty nice I think um, that was my first time using that that's pretty nice um, and boom let's quickly see how it looks so yeah it's it looks pretty random and stupid because there's no other effects um, but all together with all your other effects you would put in like an OC montage or whatever you're doing it would look pretty nice so that's it guys so thanks for watching uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe maybe a favorite if this helped you out a lot and yeah I'll see you in the next tutorial which I don't know what to do put your request in the comment below so and then I'll try doing so see ya